All right, here's problem four off the math subject GRE test. Uh, we're talking about subspaces. Um, we have V and W are both four-dimensional subspaces of a seven-dimensional vector space, which of the following cannot be the dimension of their intersection. Um, I don't know. There's probably some clever way you can do this and write out some theorem or something, but for me, it's kind of more of a common sense argument. Um, it could certainly, we could have their intersection be four-dimensional if V equals W, if they're the exact same four-dimensional subspaces, their intersection is those subspaces, and it's given that they're four-dimensional. So that can't possibly be my answer, because that's certainly possible. And you can do the same thing with three, two, and one. I kind of have seven dimensions to play with. So I, I mean, this is very informal. Use up four of those dimensions for V, and then I think about what I'm doing for W. If I want these guys to intersect as little as possible, well, let's let W live in those other three dimensions, right? I got seven total, used up four here. I have three left over here. Um, so I'll have it live in those three dimensions, but now it's just a three-dimensional subspace. So there's got to be kind of a little bit of overflow. It's got to kind of overlap into at least one dimension. Uh, so therefore, my answer is zero. I could not possibly have two different four-dimensional subspaces of a seven-dimensional vector space with their intersection being zero dimensional. And again, I know there's some theorem. I don't know, you cite something that this equals this plus this minus this something, but it's easier to just talk about it common sense wise, right? If you have seven to play with and you use up four for V, then you can't have four different ones for W. So you can't possibly have an empty intersection. So I'm gonna call that good. Sorry if you want more detail there.